Hello, welcome to my shop. Um, I'm continuing my video. This is part three of fixing up the rabbit plane and I'm cleaning off the rusted parts after soaking in vinegar. So first of all, you're gonna want gloves after soaking stuff in vinegar. Um, if you have any little cuts because vinegar can get in there and sting. Of course, the air conditioning starts up when I start a video. It never fails. Um, so if you can't hear me, I'm sorry but just watch and hopefully you can bear the noise. Um, we're gonna have some water right close here. We're gonna want water to rinse it off the stuff. Just set up a nice little workstation for yourself. Make sure you get something so that um, the vinegar and stuff won't get on your workbench because the vinegar is basically stings. So you wanna get that. Do a quick dunk in water just to get most of the vinegar off. Then come in here, and I'm using a, quite a coarse brush for this to clean, clean out the file strokes, the file um, file grooves that are on this, and um, metal tends to stink after you soak it in vinegar. So yeah, quite nasty smell. rinse it. I don't know if you can see the rinsing of it, but rinse it and then dry it off. Wipe it. It's still gray in color, but it's brush free. One thing out of the way. And now I'm going to get to the um, little angled piece here. Uh, water. I'm just going to dry off the vinegar as I go so as to not get it anywhere. Um, I'm going to brush right out of the way with the water so you guys get a good look. And for this I'm going to use steel wool because the brush sort of leaves marks and steel wool won't. Um, well it does leave marks but not, not nearly as bad as the other option. So get this scrub this soaked for quite a while I put it in at 9 o'clock last night and this is the next day and it's almost 5 o'clock so soaked for a pretty decent amount of time get it all cleaned up here and after the fact there's any little bits of rust I missed you can always go back with the um, steel wool and just neaten it up. But I'm just gonna go in here and clean this. Get any rust out so that no rust progresses and rusts this worse than it was at the start. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna dunk this in water now. Bring in the water so you can see. Dunk it. And that sort of neutralizes the vinegar. I'm going to rinse off my hands again. I usually do this outside, but for the purpose of this video, I'm doing it inside. So I would recommend doing this operation outside. And what will happen is everything that I clean off right now will get a thin coating of rust on it again, just from being in water. And all you do is you take some steel wool and oil after the fact and give it a little scrub down and help clean it off. That improved a lot. I'm good. I'm really impressed. I'm excited to um, put that back on the plane. And down here I'm not too concerned about because I'll probably take sandpaper and ease those edges and fix that all up. So there's that. And now just left is there's some little screws. Which I'm not looking forward to pulling out because they're deep in the vinegar. <laughs> Up and pull those suckers out. I'm gonna take some pink towel and just wipe off my hand. Try not to get vinegar everywhere. So there's the screw heads, and I'm not gonna worry about the underside of these. I'm just gonna literally flip this steel wool and just wipe it like that. 
get the majority out, dunk it. And these will also make sure you get them all off, get the vinegar all off the threads. And they'll get a nice coat of oil also. Get this one cleaned up. Same as the other. Use steel wool to scrape it away. Clean it off. Neutralize the vinegar the water so it doesn't continue eating away the screw and there's all the metal parts to this plane clean pretty sure you can see all the stuff stacked there and I will get back to you once this is all um once I go and put the oil on it so I got these gloves save those for a special occasion <laughs> and I'll see you back here in a second when I'm oiling up these parts and getting all the little bit of uh, rust that came back from the water cleaned off. See you in a minute. Okay, welcome back. Now, as you see here, just from sitting for literally a minute maybe, it um, got all rusty. Pretty sure you can still see. And yeah, so I'm gonna go over these with some oil. Now I just take some oil cap off, these old 3 in 1 caps, and all I'd use is just plain old 3 in 1 oil, for some reason the cap will free up, which is really odd, there we go, stuck on there some good, um, so now let's take some of this and drizzle it over this, then take my steel wool, same grit steel wool I used vinegar, not the same piece, but the same grit, and just give it a good scrub. And usually you can't see these scratches it puts on, um, but I'd still go with the long length of metal pieces. Same thing here. And this will clean off all that little residu residual rust. And make sure you get it all down in every nook and cranny so that any water or vinegar that was in there gets um, removed by the steel wool and oil. Um, the oil will, I think, I'm not 100% certain, but I'm pretty sure it'll uh, flush out any, um, it'll sort of help, you know, water and oil don't mix, right? So it should help disperse any water that's left take some in here this isn't to make it clean well it is to get some of the grime off but basically just oil this so it won't um, ever rust and that well not ever rust it'll prevent it and then I'll just take this dirt towel and just dry it off and there's still some crap coming off it but. and I don't I find um, the vinegar keeps the patina but gets rid of the rust I really like a vinegar treatment because it just removes the rust if you time it just right and um, don't leave it for too long if you leave it for too long it can wreck things but if you I always aim for under the um, suggested amount of time and then you'll never go wrong you can always just put it back in for a couple hours and then pull it back out again and see how it went but I wouldn't get too concerned with soaking it for any lengthy amount of time because you can always put it back in but you can never just like saying when you cut wood you always cut it long if anything long because you can still cut it down but you can never add it back on same thing I use, apply the same um, theory with vinegar I guess and then take this same thing we did with the with the vinegar take the screw head and just scrub it around on there do that and then you don't really have to clean off the threads so all I like to do is take um, take a part of my paper towel and I know I should be using gloves for this but I'm not so it's my own safety um, and then just take the screw in there where I soaked that with oil and squeeze and just twirl the screw around 
and that gets it all coated in the threads. But that's all you need. If we apply some of that and do it to this screw, and I'll get the top after. Curl the screw, get all the threads coated, and then do the same thing. Put some oil on the top, like that, and then clean it off. Just like that. Some patina left on there. Just what I want. Set that aside. And then the iron, I'm going to do where I put the vinegar treatment and not where I put the vinegar treatment this time. Get most of the bulk rust clean off and then when I sharpen the iron, it'll take any of the pitting and everything out that I need to take out for right now. Just to get the bulk rust off. The back of that iron there. This is what I usually do with all planes, even if I don't soak them in vinegar, I go over. If plain irons aren't too bad, I go over them with um, steel wool, because steel wool does the same. It gets rid of the rust, but leaves the stains and patina that looks nice on old um, tools and metal. But if you want it completely clean, I'm not holding you back, but you can um, put sandpaper, put oil on sandpaper and do it, but I don't like to do that because it tends to remove patina and never really looks great because it just makes it look new and that's not what you're trying to do, you're trying to restore not um, destroy old planes and stuff. So this, old, this iron has a nice coating now and it gave this file a nice black look with vinegar so with soaking which I actually kind of like so no big deal. So there's that. This part wasn't in the vinegar so if you notice some little rust spots that's because it wasn't in the vinegar, but if I would have soaked it, there'd be nothing left on that. So there's that. And now I'm just going to film putting the pieces back on here. There's this. The big screw wet in the front. Put this back on. A little screw on the top. Put it in by hand. Screwdriver. Uh, screwdriver. This is an has to be an antique one that works. Usually fits better with these old screw, you know, smaller slotted screws. Um, put that screw back in, and I'm going to try to see how it's like that. I am going to try, and yeah, maybe not. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to sit where it stays. Can't really. Um, Twist it around to the right spot. Screw that in. And there you go. That is it fixed up. So in the next video, I'll be filming sharpening the iron, putting it back together, and giving it a test run, and that'll be the final part. And anyway, so, yeah, there you go. See you in the next video.